What's up guys, Sebastian Castillo here, and I thought I'd put this video together to help out anyone out there who's struggling with their confidence. And everyone loves to throw out that word and say, just be confident, bro. But how do you actually do that? And how do you make sure you can remain confident in the long term, especially when you're faced with situations that would normally make you kind of nervous or feel insecure? Well, you have to look at it a certain way. So here's what's worked for me. Just to give you a bit of backstory, I've always dealt with self-esteem and confidence issues. I was bullied relentlessly as a kid. Maybe you wouldn't know it looking at me. Maybe you I take the glasses off, and then, <laughs> then it doesn't seem like it, but I was. It was really tough. I didn't have a lot of friends growing up. The ones that I did have, it was very empty. I didn't feel like they were really supporting me. But anyways, recently, maybe a few years ago, I started to notice that when I was walking around, I would actually be looking down all the time and my body language would be hunched over. And I still have this problem to an extent this day, but you have to be conscious of it. That's the first thing, self-awareness. You have to make sure that you correct yourself. Even right now as you're watching this video, how are you sitting? What's your posture like? How are you speaking? That's a whole other thing. In fact, I'm going to make another video about how to speak better. But the baseline ingredients for being more confident and at least conveying that you're more confident is carrying yourself like you deserve to be. That's the key. What does that mean? You have to believe that you deserve to go through your life feeling like you're worth all the good things that life has to offer. Like you're good enough, right? You, cause, because you have the choice every time you step out the door to believe certain things. You have the choice to communicate and interact with people in a certain way, right? It's literally up to you. It's not hard to just stand up straight and look people in the eye. It's not hard to dig deep and speak from the depths of your being rather than having a meek tone of voice that even suggests that you're not proud and you're not insecure in who you are. Now, I'll be the first to say, I'm still really insecure about a few things, but I use that as fuel. I use it to my advantage so that I can be a better person and that I work hard every single day to get better in all these different areas. What I'm meaning, what I'm meaning to say here is, I'll, I'll relate to my personal experience, okay? I would walk around a public space like the beach or the mall or whatever. And just by virtue of being out in the open, people are going to look at you. People are going to size you up. Maybe some people will stare at you longer. Maybe some people won't give a shit. They'll just glance at you and that's it, right? And people will scrutinize you. And that used to make me feel a little bit exposed, a little bit naked, a little bit nervous. But then I thought to myself, first off, what the hell do I care what these people think of me? If they're never going to see me again. And most importantly, if they're not paying my bills and if they're not supporting me and being in a relationship with me, right? That none of that actually matters. But more importantly, I decided, you know, I have the right to go out and just feel good. Why would I allow this to ruin my day or at least cast a cloud over it and make it feel like I'm not worth enjoying simple things like just walking around or sitting down in a public space or ordering food like just tiny seemingly insignificant parts of everyone's day that for me were nerve-wracking and anxiety inducing so it's taken a while and it's a process but the more aware you become of these things, the more you can start to fix them. And more importantly, like I said, the key here that underpins all of it is 
you have to believe that you deserve to be confident. You have to believe that, okay, I may not be exactly everything I want to be in life yet. I may not be super wealthy. I may not be in my best physical shape. I may not have a whole bunch of status or official titles. I may not even have a lot of close friends or family there who believe in me and who support me and who say nice things to me. Fuck that. You still deserve to walk around feeling good. Now there's a fine line between confidence and arrogance, but even then, I would have to say you're much better off leaning more towards the side of arrogance than being meek and just a little mouse who apologizes for his fucking existence. You don't have to. And people need to see that. This might even be affecting the relationships that you have, your friendships, your family. Do you stifle yourself? Do you hold back from speaking your mind? Do you always go along with what everyone else says rather than standing your ground and saying, no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to do this. And if you want to go ahead and do that, that's fine. I'm not going to, right? There's a lot to be said about this. But the bottom line, again, you have to believe that you deserve to be confident and that you deserve to enjoy every little part of your day without being judged or letting those things weigh on you, right? Again, I like to use the example of women too. You have the right to feel that you're attractive. You have the right to feel that, okay, I may not be Prince Charming, but I put a lot of work into myself. I put effort into these different areas of my life. I should be able to get at least a decent looking girlfriend or at least some dates or something like that. Because it makes, it doesn't help you in any way and it doesn't further your goals at all to have negative self-talk and believe that you're not worthy and feel like, oh, I'm not good enough or, oh, I, I shouldn't go talk to this girl or ask her out on a date or whatever because she's probably going to say no because of all these different reasons for why I'm not perfect. So I hope you're understanding what I mean. And this is a whole topic, a, a massive subject in and of itself that I feel needs to be explored more and that more guys need to hear about. Because we're living in a day and age now where all the messages that we see in the popular media, the things that we hear are trying to convince us that we're not good enough and that we, we need to be perfect just to have what would be considered normal 40, 50, 60 years ago. And it's outrageous, but it's all part of the system. It's all part of the greater goal to get people to consume and spend money on all these different things that they really don't need. Case in point, refer to the video I made recently where I went out to the mall. I was dressed in beach bum clothing. I didn't even have my, let's just show it here, my bracelet here. It's not silver, it's tungsten carbine, but that's the only piece of jewelry I wear. I was wearing nothing that would indicate that I have money or anything like that. And yet I was still able to have a conversation with a, a legitimate hot Venezuelan model chick. And she was friendly, she was open, she was smiling, she was happy to have met me and, sat, and even sat down and, and talked with me for an hour and told me all about herself. So what does that say? It says that you're better off even being a little bit delusional, dare I say, thinking that, again, you're more leaning towards the side of arrogance and believing that you deserve to be confident. Everyone does. So let that be food for thought, and I hope that makes your day a little bit better, knowing that you have a choice every time you step out of your house, who you want to be and what kind of life you want to live and how you believe people should treat you. So respect yourself, have some self-esteem, because it's one life. There's no point in going through it with your head down and your shoulders hunched forward, trying to minimize and downplay your shine and who you actually are. So that's it for today. Talk next time.